Okay, hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron. Today I'm gonna to show you something a little bit different. We're gonna work in Lightroom and Photoshop, and I'm gonna show you how to take some of your drone footage and do a sky replacement. This is a pretty simple process. This video should be pretty short and to the point. So uh, let's jump right into it. Oh, and before we get too far into this video, I wanted to show you, these are a couple final images that I was able to put together using this particular technique, just to give you an idea of what you could potentially do using this method. So as you can see, I have this photo here. Melissa's taking a picture of the sunset. Uh, so this is in Lightroom. So once you have a, an image open in Lightroom, you can actually come down here in the left-hand corner, right-click, and we're gonna edit it, edit in Photoshop. So once it pulls it up in Photoshop, you'll have this here. And I actually have two pictures. I've got a sunset that I wanna use open as a separate uh, image, and then I have my original shot here. So what I want to do is actually bring this image into the other picture, drag it up here, bring it down, pull down the shift key, let it go, and it's going to bring this image in. Once I have this image here, now I have two layers. You can see if I click here, I can turn that off. The original image is still there. And what I want to do is grab my arrow tool here in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to resize this a little bit so let me bring this over it's a little too big for this image I'm going to scale it down just grab just grab the corner here of a sky that you want to use and I'm going to actually position this Scale it down a little bit more. I'm going to try to position this so that it's right at where the horizon should be. So as you can see behind me here, the horizon is right about there. I'm going to bring it down to right about there. And the nice things with these sunsets is if you hold down the shift key, we can stretch, stretch this, the image a little bit if we want to because I want the sun to be kind of in the center of the shot. This way a little bit more. Hold down the shift key, drag it to the right. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to take layer one here. I'm going to drag it down here. It's going to duplicate. I'm going to hit Control T for transform. Right click, flip vertical. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to drag this down. And basically, I'm going to have a duplicate of the sunset top and bottom here hold down my shift key on the right hand side here right click and I'm going to merge the layers so now it's just one image and then the default here on the right under layers is normal I'm going to change that from normal to darken or the other one you could try is multiply there's a bunch of other options here you can play around with but for this particular shot I think darken is going to look the best so I'm going to select darken now you can see down here I have a reflection it basically casts the reflection into the water but it's a little too sharp so I'm going to grab my uh, lasso tool here and I'm going to just roughly sketch out the building here and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm gonna make it a little more uh, realistic in the water so I'm gonna highlight the entire image close the loop so right now what's selected is this part of the image I'm gonna go up to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to change this from uh, the default to somewhere between 150 and 160 and you can see what happens to the uh, to the water down below without 
without the Gaussian blur. See how the water's uh, too hard of a reflection? And with it, it's more subtle. So somewhere between 150, 160, I got 164 here. Hit OK. Control D. And now we have a really quick sky replacement. Um, you know, what was originally there was this, and what we have now is this. And what we can do now is, I'm going to uh, merge these two layers. I'm gonna save it. And then we can flip back into Lightroom. Now everything is saved here. Now I wanna upload this to Instagram. So if I go under my development module, under tools, crop, a really good setting for Instagram is an aspect ratio four by five. I'm just gonna get the uh, image the way that I want it as far as the, uh, the, the layout. So that's, that's my basic image. And then from here, I can just play with the exposure a bit, the contrast a little bit, the highlights, bring those up a little bit. And one of the things I wanna do is I'm gonna grab the gradient filter here and I'm gonna bring this over a little bit. I'm gonna darken this side a bit, bring up the exposure, actually down the exposure a little bit, get a little darker here on the corner because the what I want to highlight here is really the sunset. Hit done. And what I can also do is do something like grab this radio, radio filter here. And maybe I just want to highlight a little bit, make the focus, you know, the, sun, the actual sunset here. And I'm going to invert that image. I can brighten it or lighten it. What I'm going to do is just lighten it a little bit with the exposure again. And hit done. And I think that's pretty good. So real quick, you can see how easy it is to uh, switch out your, your skies from what you originally had to a new image. So I hope you found this helpful. There's, you know, I've been, been looking through a bunch of tutorials and there's probably about you know, 50 different ways to do sky replacements. This is just one. Oh, and before I go, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Serge Romelli Photography. Uh, he's got a great YouTube channel where I stumbled across this particular technique, but he's got some really great videos out there. He's a professional photographer. Using Lightroom and Photoshop, if you really want to get into using Lightroom or Photoshop, check out his tutorials, they're excellent. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It's a quick little video for sky replacements. Uh, please be, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, and um, leave any comments below if you have any other videos that you'd like to see. And until next time, happy flying.